लाइट कैमरा एक्शन हाई एवरीबडी वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज कृति एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो अबाउट लाइफ यर इन डेनमार्क हेल्पिंग यू नो मोर अबाउट दिस ब्यूटिफुल कंट्री एंड इन दिस वीक्स वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर ऑल द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स दैट हेल्प मी पास द पी डी थ्री एग्जाम If you have been following me, you know that I've been uh, talking about this. I was stressed about this exam, and uh, I have passed it. I have passed it with good marks. Here is my certificate. Should I reveal my points? Maybe in the end. Yes. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do that. I make video about Denmark, and I upload video every Friday. And in this week's video, let's talk about the tips. that help me and i hope it will help you also if you are learning one of the hardest languages in the world without further i do let's get started with this week's video very shortly what is pd3 before i jump into all the tips it's one of the language tests that you need to give if you plan to go for uh, say for example citizenship here in denmark there are also different jobs that might require you to pass the language test like for example i know that if you are a nurse and if you are moving to denmark and if you want to continue to work as a nurse here in denmark which is called suplaska you need to pass the pd3 exam and get good marks so depending upon that you would be going for either pd2 pd3 PD3 has five modules each module will last uh, differently like like module 1 is 2 weeks module 5 is almost 5 months so i started in 2020 uh, november and now i am done i did it back to back without any break and without uh, like failing any exam so there was no break for me the number one tip on my list is finding opportunities to speak the language it might sound cliche but if you are part of like a classroom already you will be speaking in the class but trust me finding opportunities outside the class is so important because sometimes you are not getting enough opportunities to speak and you want to improve so that you are not too much stress during the exam okay i did not focus on speaking too much and there are so many opportunities i'm going to list all the places that i know that give you know like there are clubs there are meetups that are happening you can go one place that i went and it helped me a lot was uh, the norebro library where every wednesday they do 4 to 6 pm snagge club which is like going forming a group and then talking in danish it helped me a lot the second thing that i did was also having one on one conversations with few friends like one of my classmates uh, she is an indian friend so we picked up our phone had whatsapp video calls a lot especially during the exams and just talking for an hour or two in danish it helped me get so much better in speaking spontaneously not thinking too much so find those opportunities and take full advantage of that second one is uh, understanding how you learn anything and then focus on that one like for me i learned anything like back when i was in engineering days or in my school i always learned by writing a lot so i started to write a lot like like diary so i'm writing about my day how i did what i did uh, how was my uh, you know the day everything so understand what uh, how you learn anything and start to do that but remember whatever it is you should always and also have speaking 
in that one next one on the list is uh, read and understand about danish culture because what are they teaching you when they are teaching you the danish language in module 1 and 2 you will be focused a lot about you know speaking about yourself about your country about your hobbies what do you do in your free time but as you progress the shift starts to happen the focus is a lot on danish society how things are here how is the work culture how is the work environment how is the school system you learn about the danish uh, arts danish artists so a lot of things about denmark about danish culture so the uh, the idea would be that you start to read the newspapers you start to you know know in depth about these topics because if you understand how the danish society works it helps you a lot in the exam especially the final exam where our teacher told us until unless it is asked to you for any questions you are not going to give your personal examples like this is what i do like my topic was to talk about milieu me focus po often transport so talk about the public transport but focus is on the environment but i should not talk about you know that i use public transport a lot i do this on my daily life no you have to talk about okay many people use public transport many people don't use public transport so no personal example so slowly slowly you have to get into that uh, you know idea of talking about denmark danish society danish culture you will be talking a lot about advantages and disadvantages and a lot about argumentation putting forward your opinions so get used to it enjoy it it is fun actually i learned a lot about how you should argument you know how you should write about it it, it is it is good what i did was started to watch lot of uh, movies on netflix in danish i watched this movie a lot far till fear yeah that was so fun i will put the link i watched uh, a lot of uh, things on dia.deco it's free it's available just go to the website or have the app on phone and start to watch series movies news everything on danish i also started to follow a lot of youtubers uh, and you know just listening to them different people so that you are getting used to of different you know voices in your mind in your head that okay this is how the language is spoken So that was this week's video sharing with you my tips and tricks about learning the language. I hope you found the video interesting and helpful. If you did, thank you so much to uh, leave a comment, like this video, share it with people. If you're watching it for the first time, do subscribe. I put video every Friday. I'll be making a lot of videos about summer in denmark now hopefully if it's not raining see you next friday till then take care with lots of love this is kriti signing off bye bye